Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian. And Jinx here. And welcome to Construction Simulator 3 on the PS4 Pro. Alright, so this game's gonna be coming out today here on Tuesday. I don't know the price of it because it's not yet up on the store. Uh, the developers gave us uh, the code to the game a couple days ago. Uh, so, because it's not on the store yet, uh, I don't know the price, but we will put a link to the game in the description of this video. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and jump into it. The name of the game is what it is. It's a construction game. And uh, we're going into this, not completely blind, but but noobs. I've never seen this game before yeah, Jinx, in my life. <laughs> yeah, Jinx is going in blind. Uh, so I played this when she was at work the other day. I played a little bit, just a little bit through the tutorial. It's kind of a long tutorial, so uh, I basically got the gist of it. Uh, but I'm, I'm certainly not an expert at the game, so just wanted to put that out there. Uh, so we're going to create a new profile. I deleted my other one that I was doing the tutorial on. And get to pick a person. I think these are only used for the kind of like little story segments. Because mm -hmm. uh, I don't think there's any, like you don't actually have your character in the game. So uh, we'll pick the white dude with his big old uh, cheery cheeks. Uh, have cheery cheer. Only one cheery cheek. Just one, right? One's cheery, the other one's pissy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, so we'll pick him since that's the closest he looking to me. He needs a beard. Uh, yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't feel construction worker ne enough. Call you the... baby face prey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we'll be Praetorian, and our company will be PJ Industries. And I shouldn't have to spell Industries because it should be in there. There we go. Beautiful. All right, uh, so these are the settings that we can pick. Uh, the finance cycle duration. I don't know if that's like how often you get money. I'm not entirely sure what that is, guys. Traffic violations. Uh, this is... Mm -hmm. Yeah. We'll leave it enabled for now. We can turn it off uh, if we want to. It is... Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys see it. Uh, the hydraulic controls. We're going to go with the arcade, because uh, that's what I used in the tutorial, and they were already pretty hard. So uh, let's go ahead and save our profile. Start the game. So you get to drive all kinds of machinery and trucks. Yeah, there's a ton of different vehicles in this game, Jinx. And that's uh, basically the way it plays. You're always in a vehicle, from my understanding. <laughs> Somewhere. Somewhere in Germany. And uh, there is no uh, like voice acting. So Jinx and I will, will once again be your voice actors for today. Is this a trucker simulator, people? You know what? I meant to check that to the developers to see if it's if it's the same developers as that because it kind of reminds it, me of it. It reminds me a, a little lot bit. Like it. That was a, a really fun series, guys. Uh, we had our complaints about the game, uh, but the series was fun. So maybe go check it's that just out. Driving around, like Praetorian and Jinx. Yeah, we had a fun time with that series. We yeah, it was Truck Simulator uh, on the on the PS4. We did not that long ago. Maybe go check that out. I thought uh, that said Welcome to Illiterate. So do you want to be the guy who tells me that I'm a total newbie? You're behaving like a total newbie. Tell me again, how did I let you rope me into this? <laughs> it's I'm great. Mr. Mutton Chops. It fits, yeah. It fits with the Mutton Chops. Pete, I told you, I'm actually a computer game developer. After a successful career and generous severance package, I now feel like I need to do something different. I think I'm ready to do things myself. I don't believe you. What a crazy <laughs> idea, and I was dumb enough to go along with it. Come on, Pete. Take over the construction company from old man Schneider, who went bankrupt last year. Also seemed like a good opportunity for you. Back then, I didn't know that you were all thumbs. I'm really going to have to teach you everything. You're not going to abandon me, are you, Pete? Although, I guess I don't really know how a redneck got in Germany, but... Oh, True. man. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's start over again. All right, so we're going to learn the controls. Because I did already play all this, we should hopefully be able to get, make through this a little bit quicker than if I hadn't played it. Uh, so we can move the map, uh, or excuse me, move the camera in and out with L1 and R1. But let's say you wanted to go to a different camera view, you can hit the left directional pad, and then there's all different sorts of uh, camera views. So if you wanted to go in the driver's seat, which is how a lot of people preferred that we play the truck simulator game. This one is just not going to be possible, guys, uh, to play it like this all oh, the way yeah, through. You're going to get tickets and shit. Well, we can get all the roads and stuff. My well, truck simulator had tickets too, remember, Jinx? We got yeah, a lot of them. are going too fast. <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of them. I don't know where I need to go left or right here. 
I th oh, okay, this is yeah, all I needed to go. Out. And we got two thousand dollars just for driving the truck to the mm -hmm. road. That's some good pay right there. See, you can do it. Perhaps all isn't lost yet. Hey, have a little faith, old man. Who are you calling old? I'm experienced. Yes, but your bank account's empty, and that's why I'm in charge here. Wow, mm. that was rude as shit. That is rude. I wouldn't have high hopes just yet. Most of your severance package went into buying the company, and almost all the rest was used to buy this truck. Although I have to admit, it's a really sweet, vers <laughs> versatile <laughs> vehicle. So be careful and don't accidentally destroy it. James is like, I had to admit, it's a really sweet vehicle. <laughs> Just throwing shit Sweet in there. Ride. Yeah, yeah. Let's drive back to the company and see what needs to be done. You're familiar with the area. How do I get there? Dude, use the GPS. Of course. 2020, man. I don't know how to get anywhere. All right, so open up the map here. And this is the map. Now, they don't really show you places you haven't been yet because apparently you know, our character doesn't know. We've never been here before in our lives. Yeah, we don't know any of this area. Uh, so let's go ahead and set up a waypoint. Go back to the home base here. I also really like that they allow you to skip trips, which is nice. Uh, now it does I cost feel money. Like this is not the trucker simulator <laughs> people. Because they let you skip the trips. Well, it's really well truck complex. simulator though was about yeah. the driving. Yeah, it was about the driving, and um, hmm. we got a crash. All right, guys, so we're back in the game. We just had a crash. Uh, I think it might have been because we were in the first person view. That's the only thing I can think of. Uh, but what I should have mentioned uh, from the beginning of the episode is that the version of the game we're playing is without the the day one patch. Uh, the developers did say that there are issues on this uh, on this version. In fact, they actually gave us a big list of problems. Well, let's go and turn these lights on. Come on, turn them on. All right, so we got our lights on. Uh, let's go ahead and start moving. All right, so this one's also a little bit different because you have these markers on the map rather than it being like marked on the on the mini map or being marked on the the actual road. Oh, yeah, you have like little checkpoints mm -hmm. to hit. Yeah, so we'll stay in uh, kind of like this third person view for right now, guys. Since I don't know, I didn't play in first person in the tutorial, and I didn't have any issues the first time. I didn't have any crashes, so. I am curious about the tickets that are issued. Like, how strict are they? They're pretty strict, Jinx. They're pretty strict. I got a lot of tickets when I was doing the tutorial. Really? I should say that I spent thousands and thousands of dollars because I just do a little bit of speeding. So, but we'll, we'll see that. I'm sure, guys. You'll thousands see it. Thousands and thousands of dollars. <laughs> yeah, I think so. See, we just got 150 dollars oh, okay. for running a red light because I wasn't Dang. paying attention to the light because I was uh, focusing on my speed. Uh, so yeah, you do need to pay attention to like the lights and stuff. You have blinkers and shit that no, you have to use? No, you don't have to use blinkers. Okay. Um, before we, we continue with the game, I, again, uh, as I said before, the uh, this is not with the day one patch, guys. So we could expect more issues. Uh, there is, uh, again, we have a, a list of, of problems that are going to be fixed with the day one patch, and I just got hit for speeding there, as you can oh, see. Great. 15 kilometers an hour per, too fast. See, I was thinking this was 70 here. Now, one thing I noticed... And I'm, I'm hesitant to go back in the first person view here. I'm probably going to get in trouble for backing up here. <laughs> so the reason why I'm backing up, there's, there's a reason for this, guys. Hopefully I can get there before this car gets here. So that is the speed limit right there. Oh, okay. It is so tiny. You can't see it. Yeah. One of the nice things about first person is it's much, like, clearer to see that. So, like, if we were to just go in, hopefully this doesn't break. See how much easier it is to see it when you're passing it mm -hmm. when you're in the first person? But yeah, the uh, the third person, I just can't see it, man. But yeah, we're 70 here, so I thought we were good to go, but apparently it didn't start until we actually hit this sign here. Yeah, it's not like in real life where you're, you're like, if I can see the sign, <laughs> then that's it's good. the speed limit. Oh yeah, and then if you know the sign is up ahead, then you start yeah. going that speed limit mm -hmm. as soon as it's within oh, eyesight. I need to speed up so that I can, once I get to the sign, <laughs> I'm going that fast. Exactly, Jinx. See, Jinx knows. Jinx knows. All right, so we're gonna pull up right here. And this is our home base. From here, we steer our company, acquire new lucrative jobs, manage our fleet, and prepare our expansions. Hmm, looks nice. Yeah, we're gonna be making some it's adjustments. So expensive. You notice that our roof has a hole in it, Jinx. Ooh, it does. So that's the first thing that we are going to fix here. The aliens. 
Right. Oh, that, that's me. Oh, that's you. I say, right, here we are. Lots of space. Great. I'm looking forward to getting my hands dirty tomorrow. Oh, I have to put X. Yeah. We'll <laughs> I see. I should have just known I was done talking. <laughs> well, that's all Jinx had to say to me. Just we'll see. No trust in this relationship, guys. No, not at all. The next morning. Everybody needs somebody to doubt them. <laughs> that's, what, that's how Jinx explains her doubting of me in real life. Uh, okay, so this is me this time. Oh dear. <laughs> in daylight, this place looks really different. Sheesh, the buildings are really run down. What happened here? Don't you love how like some places look so different from night and day? Oh yeah, definitely. That's why if you're gonna move to an area, you need to drive around at night. You need to check the night, <laughs> yeah. guys. I was just about to tell you, a few days ago, a severe storm blew through this place and damaged the roof, among other things. But don't worry, I don't see anything that we can't fix with a little elbow grease. Well, okay, I think we can manage that. You're the one here who's got all experience, so tell us what needs to be done. And I'm gonna turn, I can't really tell if this is how the sound is doing, guys. Uh, but the, seem the music seems a little bit loud, so we're gonna turn down just a bit. All right, so the first thing we've got to do is take care of the roof on the administrative building. That's a massive administrative building. Yeah, it is. Like, how many employees are we going to have? Well, that and, like, after some time. Breakfast, Jinx. <laughs> Breakfast. Morning poop. <laughs> the roof was in really bad condition. I've already knocked away what it couldn't be salvaged. We need to replace two beams and retile the entire thing. I almost said the reptile. reptile. I was, a, yeah. <laughs> Got a reptile the whole damn thing. <laughs> I was reading the same thing there, Jinx. Found some leftovers from the previous owner under a tarp back there. Should be enough to repair the roof. Drive the truck into the marked area. All right, so. How are you going to start a construction site and then bitch about the state of your place? Like, oh, I don't know how to fix this. <laughs> well, we're going to fix it, Jinx. That's what we're going to do. Those are our tiles right over there. Well, that's all we got to do. Mm -hmm. Do gonna... a little bit of cruising. Well, you gotta cruise and then you gotta pick it up. We gotta go pick these tiles up, Jinx. I thought you were gonna say you gotta cruise, you gotta bruise. We got a little magic arm here that. We moonlight as Hitman. And or apparently henchmen. I'm not quite in there. There we go. Success. Okay, so uh, you can see the controls up there, and we can always get rid of those, and we will. Um, and we can always pull them back up if we need them. All right, so to switch the truck's function, we're gonna press square and switch vehicle mode. Ooh, and this sounds like the complication of like that farming simulator I tried. I was like, oh gosh. That's, See, I've only played the tutorial where it walks you through everything. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty easy. The hardest part has been like controlling stuff. Yeah. I've had some difficulty with it, guys. Uh, let's press triangle to interact with objects. To choose an object you want to interact with, press L1 R1. And my kids were watching me as I was playing, and yeah, they kept saying, oh, well, you're doing better. <laughs> you're doing better, Daddy. Uh, so we want to go ahead and interact with this palette here. And then what we're going to want to do is... We're going to hook it. Yeah, we're going to try and hook it. I don't know why it's telling me we can go in here. I don't know what I need to do from here. I think that just lets me reset it. I don't think that's necessary. Uh, so what we need to do is switch over to... Our arm here, which you can see that we now have the arm controls out. Where's your robot arm? Yeah, that's the robot arm. You see the red thing right there? Yeah. That's the robot arm. So we're going to go ahead and get it out. And so this is handy having this up because it kind of shows you like what each, you know, because uh, you got to use both sticks. That's like a controller within a controller? Mm-hmm. Exactly. What? Jinx. So oh, this brings it up Inception shit. and down. Uh, also, I'm not entirely sure what these ones do yet, but we have to get the, the rest of the arm out. With the right directional pad here. Now you can do your And now we can move. Swiveling. We can swivel. Okay. So we got our swivel. And then this brings it in and out here. We might need to like flip this over actually. Yeah. It maybe like that's the why. On its side. Maybe that's why they said something about uh, uh, doing that. Yeah. That makes sense. All right. Uh, so. Ooh. So now it's like the claw game. So we do have like a hook camera here. So you can kind of uh, do it this way. Uh, press start 3 switch it in these modes. Uh, so this makes it a little bit easier for hooking. <laughs> uh, if you can just try to get it to go. You can't really see the bottom there though, so that's one thing I don't like about that. So let's go back to the orbit camera so we can kind of see 
We need to view out here, guys. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, but again, this is a uh, main part of the game here, guys. Is just trying to get. Trying to grab stuff. Trying to grab stuff. Yeah. Robot we arm. This way. There we go. Good God, that was way harder than that should have been. All right, so we've got it on there. And now we need to put it onto the, onto oh, the truck. Oh, no. Physics. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, again, we'll play with the, the camera a bit. And then let's go ahead. And I still don't have these controls down yet, guys, despite the fact that this will be my second time doing it. I would need a lot more than two times to do this. <laughs> I felt like I started getting it there for a while. Let's just go unload. It doesn't really matter where we place oh, it. Okay, so it'll straighten it out for you. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. At least yep, there's yep, yep. that. All right. So let's go ahead and grab the next pallet here, and out we go. But yeah, it's Yay. definitely weird using the two sticks for this, and does take some getting used to. Uh, but as I said, this is this is a large part of the game right here, guys. Is uh. Picking stuff up and putting it back down. Do we get a wrecking ball? Because I would really like one. I really hope so. <laughs> I really hope so, Jinx. Imagine you swinging in on a wrecking ball. <laughs> Naked. <laughs> yep. That's how I'd do it, Jinx. Uh, I'm so paying money to see okay, that so. shit. <laughs> <laughs> how much money? I don't have any money, but I would pay someone else's good money to see it. <laughs> So now we need to switch the vehicle. Oh, wait a minute. We need to close the truck up first. Uh, we need to do that. You uh, gotta so clean up after yourself. What? We need to close it up. Can't, okay. have, can't have it falling out, Jinx. That's true. All right, so... Oh, we need to put this away, too, I think. Uh, I think there's a way to reset it that does it for you. Yeah. So oh, you don't have nice. to do it. You can okay. be nice and lazy. All right, so now I we can like switch that. back. Now we're ready to drive. A lot of vroom steps, vroom. guys. Again, we are noobs at this, so expect noob gameplay. Yep, I, I figured that. Thank you. And I've never been a construction worker before either, so ultra noob. <laughs> <laughs> I've done a little bit of construction work. Not, not a ton, uh, but a little bit. You know, I've also... Uh, I spend... Uh, a couple months working at a, a plant where we made mobile homes. That was an interesting experience. I feel like that would be an interesting experience. Mm -hmm. And I did uh, roofing there, plumbing, uh, final finish, stuff like that. Uh, function mode. Now load everything. Do so by pressing square. Got it. All right, so we're going to switch I'm over. I'm handy. I've just never been paid for it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so the vehicle's been stabilized. And uh, don't forget to release the cargo before unloading it. Got it, man. Uh, so we want to toggle the securing. Release. And I don't think we need a waypoint. I think we can handle it. All right, so now we need to pick these things up again. And move them over there. Why so far? Why do we park so far? This is where they told me to park, Jinx. This thing does go out pretty far, though. So. True. Guess there's that. You mm -hmm. want plenty of space Oops. between that crazy robot arm and your building. Mm-hmm. I need to get used to using the uh, the other view because certain things are going to be really hard to do with this this view, I've mm -hmm. noticed. Uh, so let's go move this on over here. And... And then we get around to change the view up. But yeah, you probably wouldn't have to change the view as often. You know what I mean? If you're on looking, you know, using that other view. Let's try it out, guys. Let's I see. would never change the camera. Like if I can't see it, it's not there. No biggie. <laughs> is this really the hook camera? Oh. That's not really any better. But yeah, it is nice that it does change with it though. Alright, so we want to go ahead and extend this out. Come on. Just get it in there anywhere. It doesn't really matter where. Though we can always try and put it nicer. Uh, we can actually spin the thing here. Oops. Oops. Ah! <laughs> uh, now you gotta do it. Okay, see, I'm just over here messing this up. Here we go. Oh, okay. There we go. Alright, then we're just gonna drop it. And I don't know if that's in the space. Almost seems like it's not. 
Let's just go ahead and make sure. There. Oh, I guess it was. Alright, let's get this last one picked up. I think we retract it. This one? Or right. Yeah, I'm pulling it in. Come on, buddy. Is it gonna get short enough? Yeah, yeah. Yep. that will be fine, Jinx. Wait, how much? That's a hell of an extension. <laughs> yeah, see, I don't know if I like this, uh, this, this hook view. It seems like the, um... It's harder to to figure out where you're where you're actually at. Mm-hmm. So it's better for certain things, but maybe not for everything. This is the I way things, things always are. Like fragile. What when do you mean? Transporting them. Oh, I hope not either, because I'm gonna break <laughs> everything, guys. Like if we ever have to do windows, <laughs> then we're screwed. <laughs> like uh, none of our buildings are gonna have windows. All right. I'm placing this right on top of here. <laughs> Let's try and fix this up a bit, guys. Come on, there. Ah, oh, come on. Come it on. Feels like a claw game. There we go. Yeah, it feels. Oh, so it's close. like it's a lot like the claw game. And then they just moved it over there anyway, so it didn't matter need where the more fuck I put quarters. it. All right, so now we need to. They made us place it down on the ground to just have to move it up there now, which is oh, great. We place the beams first. Uh, I don't think it matters which one you place first. You would think that it would. Well, you're just placing it up there. You know, like the whole block there so that whoever is going to work on this, which oh, apparently I is see. not going to be us. We only work the uh, the vehicles. Can you knock a hole in the wall? I, I don't know, Jinx. Jinx is like, let's find out. We're going to burn the city to the ground. It's nice that it locks into so place easy enough, though. It. So you spend a lot of time with the crane, huh? Well, initially, there's a lot of different vehicles, so... Again, we're just trying to get it so it locks into place, so it green, you know, lights up green like that. And yeah, it does take a while to kind of get a hang of the dual sticks, you know, what the different things do. wonder what the weight limit is. How much can this bad boy pick up? I don't know. Uh, I imagine in real life they can pick up quite a bit of weight pick up two whole logs. <laughs> it's Let's exciting. Rotate this. Now we should change the view, guys. You guys can't really see what we're doing here. Alright, so let's go and rotate this a bit. Trying to rotate it. We're building a torture attic. And then just try and get it to the one little location here. Come on, man. For our henchman business. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. We got it. Yes, that is the attic where we're going to do... Very good. That's illegal it. Illegal activities, Jinx. Such a beautiful torture chain. All right, so let's go and reset it. It's got a freezer and everything. <laughs> <laughs> See, that wasn't so bad. No use moaning about the situation. The only way to solve a problem is to start working on it. I guess you're right. It was easier than expected, wasn't it? Now we get off on a running start. It wasn't easier than expected. <laughs> it's actually quite tricky. Not so fast, my friend. We're not ready to go yet, but at least the company administration has a roof over its head and can start working. Come, I'll show you everything. All right, so at the go into our company menu. This is the company menu. From here, you can manage your company. Who would have expected it? No way. So yeah, we can do management. We have our map here. We have our vehicle hall, our motor pool, where we currently only have one vehicle, and then we have the jobs. Uh, so I don't know what he asked me to click on. Was it jobs? He just wants to show you the world, that's all. Is that all we need to do? Job We're completed. We're going to go on a magic crane truck ride. So that was a good start. We'll deal with the rest of the company premises tomorrow, but for now, let's enjoy our well-earned rest. Park the vehicle in the parking lot. Okay. It is parked in the parking lot. Well, it's not park because it's in, uh, it's in this mode here. Whatever that is that looks like a mm -hmm. playground. All right. That you'd be scolded for playing on it. So we need to go, we have to park it over there in the actual parking spot, Jinx. And we're going to back up and do it. Because reasons. And the, the little thing is like in the middle of the parking spaces. Mm-hmm. Oh. I think it's actually supposed to be that one right so they there. they want you to park like a maniac? But yeah, I'm going to park like a maniac in the middle. Oh the kids love God. that when I was playing this. <laughs> They're like, 
He didn't even park in the parking spot. Uh. I was like, well, it told me to park in the middle. I'm just doing what I'm told, guys. And we're flabbergasted. Flabbergasted, eh? Flabbergasted, Jinx. All right, so we've earned a little bit of money from completing these first tasks. And uh, we are going to get to something a little bit more complicated now. Because that was pretty easy, and you guys already saw how I <laughs> like, struggled through that. Well, they put you properly in the spot. Yeah. Yep. I knew somebody would take care of it. I got one of my lackeys to do it for me. All right, so they want us to go into our profile. In profile, you can develop your new skills. Uh, so we're going to go into skills here. And we do have an available skill point. Uh, so we have five different categories we can put the skill into. This one here will give us more money and experience. Uh, this one here will give us 20% discount when buying construction material. 5% uh, uh, more soil. And this is contract a helper to transport soil off the site or fill up your vehicle. So seems like this might make things easier. Like yeah, uh, get like rid of some one. of the busy work. Uh, and then the wear skills, you spend 25% less on manual maintenance for your vehicles. We're going to do the money experience. I always find that one to be like the, you know, typically in any kind of game, that's the direction you want to go first because it lets you level up quicker and get the rest of these things quicker. So that's what we're going to get. And I like money, guys. Me too. All right. Got a little bit more money and experience for everything we do now. Next thing on the list is the vehicle hall. It's filled with the disgusting mixture of sewage and dirt because of drainage, and most likely the entire sewage canal are completely blocked. So before we can work on anything in there, we'll need to replace the sewage pipes. Okay, what's the best way of getting to them? Unless you intend to dig the pipes out with your bare hands, I suggest you use the right machine for the job. The new backhoe should be ready to be picked up from the vehicle dealership now. Let's drive over there. Open the overview map and set the waypoint to the vehicle dealership. All right, I'm on it. All right, so you let's had better be. open up the map. And then we're going to go to the dealership, which is right here. So we can skip the drive for 507 credits. So it's, it's not cheap. Mm -hmm. However, they do let you get free skips. I don't really know how it works just yet, but I've noticed that many times they, they have a, a, a free skip that you can do. So let's go ahead and drive on over there, guys. I, I suppose we'll do third person for now. Maybe the next drive we'll do a first person drive. Hopefully then it won't uh, crash on us. God, it'd be difficult to do anything in first person, like with all the mm -hmm. building and stuff. Yeah, what I, that's what I was saying, is like in this one, while we can do the first person while driving, I don't know why we'd want to do the first person when we're, we actually have one. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, I no, forgot about laws. traffic. Or uh, laws, uh. traffic laws. So yeah, we're going to get hit kind of hard. We're going to have to start driving slower, guys, if we're going to have that on. Now, we can always turn it off so that I can just do whatever the hell I want. Grand but, Theft Auto, that shit. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but given that this is a simulator, I think uh, many people watching would prefer that I follow the laws. So let me start, guys, and act like I've driven a vehicle in real life. <laughs> I'm actually a pretty good it's driver, a green guys. Light. I'm a pretty decent driver in real life. I don't hit other cars, and I generally follow the traffic laws. Generally. As you should. Generally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we'll stop at the red light, but this is one reason why I was considering turning it off because this is not truck simulator you know where it's a game about driving mm -hmm. uh, this is a game about you know construction so i was thinking that we might not want to be like sitting at red lights for chunks of or episodes ever. yeah so i don't know i'll leave it up to you guys what you guys think let me try and actually figure out what the damn speed limit is here i have no idea so i'm just kind of well, guessing you could do the whole turn on to the I'm road that's not turning like uh -huh. you need it to and then just turn around on that road. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i do that in real life too where do we need to go is it this way yeah this way if it's not then uh we'll be going on an adventure yeah but i don't know how fast i'm allowed to go here and that's the thing, if the game is going to require me to go a certain speed limit, then I need more frequent speed limit yeah. signs, man. I need a tool tip for that. <laughs> Let's then see, this is 50. Okay, so we can go 50 here. And I, I want to say we're already here, though. Yeah, this is it right here. Looks like they give you a little bit of leeway, so it's not like as soon as you go 51, they 
they smack you with a ticket, <laughs> which is good. Oh. That's where we need to go to. Nothing. Oh, you're talking about the... Yeah. Yeah, I think the that's just the manhole. The yeah. Task complete. All right, so we arrived here. Uh, I think we could also just go to the dealership from the map here like this and just say enter. Hopefully. I'm saying I think you could have done that without driving all the way over here. Uh, so we're going to buy the backhoe, which it is going to be free. This first purchase here. We're getting a discount. Mm-hmm. That bulldozer murdered someone. <laughs> or backhoe. They gotta get rid of it. Gotta get rid of it. And what's that blood stain there? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind that. Alright, so. There it is, your new backhoe. You now have two ch vehicles of your very <laughs> own. You have two children of your own. <laughs> is that what you're gonna say? Love them like your own. Awesome. Hopefully, I'll have a few more soon. You should familiarize yourself with the backhoe before you start eyeing up new vehicles. The backhoe is a real all-rounder with its front loader and rear excavation excavator arm. People are going to think we don't know how to read. I know. I'm looking forward to it. Where do we start? Hop into the backhoe and drive it to the company premises. I'll show you the rest there. I'm worried. I don't know how to read good. <laughs> All right. So they want us to go and switch vehicles, which we're going to press triangle to do that. I want to say there's another way to switch vehicles as well. Um, I thought there was like a, let me just take a look because I'm curious. I think it's, yeah, the down directional pad. It seems like the easier way to switch to vehicles. Mm -hmm. They always give you the harder way to do is like the default and like the uh, more challenging way or the easier way is considered like the alternate. Yeah. I don't really understand that. But. So we're just going to leave our truck here. I don't know if that's going to require us to drive it back. It Hopefully might. not. Do you have legs? Normally you would, I think. But because it's a tutorial, I'm really hoping that they don't require it. Now, we might be able to skip the ride, but I think you guys probably want to watch this thing drive on the road and run Ooh, over signs. No, no tickets, tickets for that. No tickets for running over signs. So I'll have to learn like what we're allowed to do and what we're not. Like I think we can hit the cars, too. I might be wrong about that one, though. Probably shouldn't find out. I don't think we have to worry about speeding on this with this thing here, because I don't think it can go very fast. Mm hmm I think. I'm like, sir, can you please pull the bulldozer over? We're flying, guys, 42 miles per hour. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Party! I feel the wind in my hair. Mm hmm. So, we'll get this baby back, and then we're gonna do some digging. Tricks. Digging. So, this is 50 here. So, we've gotta learn all these speed limits so I can stop speeding and getting us tickets. That's where all of our are money is going to go. Those black cars? Yeah. No. No, those are definitely not copper strings. No, sir. That that one over the top there isn't even black. That's green. Yeah, I see those it's like green. A, it's like a it's dark like a green. Hunter green. That green's okay. You called it hunter green? Yeah. Is that what that's called? Or forest green? Yeah, I don't know. forest Shit, green. I don't know. Sounds about right. <laughs> Hunters hunt in the forest, right? Jinx is the color version. Oh, can we blow the... Uh, nope. <laughs> ah! Ugh, jeez. I really thought we could make the yellow, guys. It doesn't stay <laughs> yellow very long at all. Mm -mm, none like of these you're not still. driving these giant vehicles that can't mm -hmm. stop very well. Yeah, see, this is in America. Yellow is a warning sign. Well, it you lets you know you better up. speed up. Yeah, <laughs> but we're not in America. We're in Europe. Where for them, I guess, the yellow sign means... It's a warning to stop. It's quite different from what we're used to, guys. <laughs> All right, so almost there. And uh, the next part, the digging, I should say, period, is a, is a bit challenging, guys. Is, uh, the digging is? A little bit, yeah. Uh, especially when you're trying to like put dirt back in the hole, I have found oh. is a little bit more difficult. Uh, but yeah, I'm looking forward to, to showing you this part, guys. Because the dirt physics are actually okay. Uh, they're decent. Alright, so this is where we need to put it. Because this is where we're going to be working, guys. Alright, so we brought the vehicle here, but they want it where in a specific want it? position. Oh, they want it fancy. Yeah, because we need to use the back hoe. Come on. Alright. So we're going to place it right there. Oops. It's good enough, apparently. And that's it's good enough for them. It's good enough for me. That's where we're gonna be digging, right there, Jinx. 
Oh, that's me. Well, that's that. Backhoe is a great vehicle to drive. Not really, but sure. I was honestly a little concerned when I saw you whizzing over in it from the vehicle <laughs> dealership, but was relieved when you arrived safe and sound. I pushed that baby to the max. Uh, what you talking about? Everything went smoothly and the backhoe doesn't have a scratch on it. Other vehicles on the road probably have a different opinion, but let's move on. Right in front of you are the sewer pipes at a depth of around a half meter. Dig this shovel nice and deep into the ground. Not even you can damage these old pipes. To use the excavator arm, the backhoe will need to be stabilized. To do that, switch to function mode. Alright, I'll get right to it then. So I called it the backhoe. The whole vehicle apparently is called the backhoe, and this is called the excavator arm. Right, good to know. We're going to learn all about this shit, guys. Alright, so let's go ahead and switch vehicle modes. And now we are ready to go. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and change our camera up. And now we can rotate it around. This operates the bucket and the boom. So that's up and down. Yeah, I have found this to be a little bit tricky, guys. Alright, so this is the area we have to, to hoe. And I'm really hoping this goes smoother than the first time I did it. Where it was, uh, it was rough. <laughs> I had some difficulty with it. Oh, no. Alright, so. <laughs> yeah, this looks challenging. Okay, so being this way is also kind of throwing me off. Uh, so, I don't know if this would be one that would be easier to use the, uh, oh, you can't. You can just do the driver's seat. <laughs> yeah, you can't even what? see what you're doing here, man. I guess it's cool because you got the sticks and all, but. Yeah, you can't really see what you're doing. Wow, okay. Yeah, I don't think that is the better way to go. All right, so we'll go back to the orbit camera then. I thought it was worth checking to see if it was easier. We're gonna dig. All right, so we're digging, Whoa. guys. All right, and then it's this one here. It's so deep. Mm-hmm, and there's the pipe. And again, he did say we don't have to worry about. Ooh, that's good. <laughs> damage in the pipe, which, I, yeah, is very good because uh, I would have probably have hit it. All right, so we need to just put it somewhere right there, I think. Doesn't really matter where. Just wherever. Yeah. And then we've got to like uncover all this, which again I found to be kind of difficult to do last time. There's like I'm a little spot great. that I had trouble getting because you had to get all of it. Alright. Let's go and dump that. And then we'll try and hit the part over there. Oh good god guys. <laughs> As that is, it, it is very tricky, man. Well, yeah, just using the two analog sticks. <laughs> when the camera's like this, yeah, that's what throws me off. Is I'm, I'm always gotta like do it the wrong way first to figure out which way I'm supposed to be doing it. All right, so we want to bring this in, probably some. How do I do that? You're either gonna come out of this an expert analog stick user or not know how to play games now. <laughs> Trying to get that little patch of dirt right there because <laughs> you got to get it all again all right so i think we should have it there there we go beautiful all right i'm gonna make a big old pile some of you guys down. may be thinking like "Ooh, yeah this is going rough for them this is actually going very well compared to how it went last time guys so <laughs> yeah just a uh, bit so i'm just gonna say that uh this actually went quite well so we've done that. I, I don't think we've gotten it all, though. Oh, Lord. Again, guys, very, very tricky. I always just got to go the wrong way a couple times before I figure it out. There we go. Oh, you're doing fantastic. <laughs> wow. All right. Uh, so it seems that we did not get it all. So I think we need to get the little patch right there. I think that's what it's wanted me to get <laughs> just that tiny little you'll patch. notice that there's a a meter up there mm -hmm. uh, next to our character's face and that meter is how far we are to being done so close yet so far away mm -hmm. again guys i'll start getting better as we go i did i wish i had played this before we recorded yeah uh when i did this it was like days ago so I'd at least be like somewhat more familiar <laughs> with the controls. All right, so we'll go ahead and dump the dirt here in a minute. Because this dirt will come back into play a bit later. All right, so let's go ahead and dump it there. 
You're getting the hang of it. Next, the broken pipes will need to be lifted from the ditch. For that, we'll use the crane function of the excavator arm. So yeah, this has a crane too, which is nice. We don't have to go get that other damn vehicle for this. And uh, we're already one step ahead of him, guys. All right, so now we need to move clever. this over here. And there we go, task complete. And man, we sure make a lot of money from know, this shit. I know, right? Yeah. Is that what it's like in the construction world? <laughs> I don't think so, James. <laughs> Not what I know about it. It seems like they're always uh, hurting on money. All right, so we need to bring... I'm not entirely sure if we can get that to go in there. <laughs> there we go. All right. And I need to move the camera again. All right. Yeah, very, very tricky, though, using the twin twin sticks for me anyways. Uh, some of you probably are not going to have as many problems as I've had. You would think I haven't been playing video games for 20-something <laughs> years. Is your thumb's broken? Okay, that's that. The old pipe's been removed and placed in new ones. Laid and connected properly. Looks really good from here. All right, we can now fill in the ditch. But be careful this time. You don't want to damage the pipes you've just put in. See, now I don't know if you can damage the pipes that are in there, but no worries. Didn't okay. you, Jinx? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but only the excavator arm so far, new guy. We'll need to use the front loader to fill the ditch back in. Place the backhoe in the marked area, and I'll show you how not to crush the pipes in the process. Oh, no, you can crush pipes? That's what I was saying. I don't know if you actually can or if they're just saying that. No. Let's hope that you can't. All right, so let's go on Gator driving. Move on over to that area, and then we get to use the front part. We're I was gonna... like, what the hell is that floating pyramid? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we need to get in here, and then we're going to get to push that dirt back in. And, yeah, I've had some difficulty dealing with dirt stuff, yeah. uh, like when filling in holes and stuff. Sometimes you leave, you leave like a little patch of dirt on the top and it just doesn't like it. Uh, with the front loader, not only uh, can bulked, can not only can bolt be picked up, but an area can also be leveled. This way, for example, such pits can be filled quickly. Moving the front loader to the position indicating to activate the gradient function. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, yep, got it. It's telling me to put it in a certain area. Tilt the shovel downward to push the soil instead of picking it up. Oh nice, they're actually teaching us how to do this. There we go. Alright, here we go. Yeah, last time I didn't see that part, guys, and I just kind of did my own thing. Well, that's fun. Yeah, it's, it's fun filling in the areas. Oh wow, they're not actually requiring me to fill it in all in. Okay, interesting. Last time I had to fill it all the way in. They weren't happy with that little bit that I did. Yeah, they just wanted to keep you forever. Mm -hmm. Done already? That was quick. Did you watch out for the pipes? I did, of course, old man. Don't you trust me? Trust needs to be earned, new guy. But we've been cleaning up this place and the sewage is flowing smoothly through those pipes. You'll be one step closer to earning my trust. Don't worry about it, Pete. I'm now skilled at using the backhoe and its various functions. Let's keep going. We'll see how you go. Next on the agenda is the warehouse. Alright, so we had some people come and fill in the rest of that dirt that I left. And uh, we've gotten our rewards. They've made it look nice for us. Alright, so... All those trucks. All good company premises need a proper warehouse. This old backyard just won't cut it. Alright, but there's more than enough space for storage here. Sure, there's enough floor space, but as soon as it rains, everything will turn to mud. The ground needs to be leveled and compacted. We can sell the excess soil at the gravel pit. Okay, got it. How do we do that? You're best doing the earthworks with the... the backhoe. The backhoe. For transportation, we'll use the thingies. Got it. Let's get to work, man. All right. Uh, so... I'm going to get into the flatbed truck. And, uh, okay, quick to open location. Okay, so yeah, the up directional pod lets you go to the location, and you can see that uh, they want us to actually pay this time. They're forcing us to pay money. We have to pay to go to the construction site? Yes, we do. 
Like three hundred dollars? It was five hundred, wasn't it? That's ridiculous. Was like five hundred credits, man. Should have somebody drive this back here. I guess people do get paid well That's in this gross. job. <laughs> All right, so let's go and get moving over here. And I did not cut that tight enough. It's okay. All right, so we'll get this parked in the location here. And then we're going to be using the backhoe now to place dirt into it. It's getting trickier, guys. We've got to use two vehicles now. Oh, man. At least the switch is relatively quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and drive on over there. You put your dirty wheels dead to our parking lot. Yeah, the kid's got a kick out of that. That, uh... If you drive in the dirt, then it, it drags the dirt into the uh, to the parking lot. You gonna do donuts? Yes, Jinx, of course. And I want a donut. I don't know, that last donut we ate was disappointing. I know, I want like a real happy donut. Yeah, we got donuts from like the donut place. We got do yeah. from Dunkin' Donuts, although they're no longer called Dunkin' Donuts anymore. Just Dunkin'. Just Dunkin'. I, yeah, and we were talking that the reason why they might have changed their name is because the donuts are garbage. <laughs> It was the first time I ate a donut from a place like that in a long time, guys. I was so excited. Yeah, because I was like thinking this would be the greatest donut I've ever had. Oh, it was not. It was terrible. It would be better than Krispy Kreme. Krispy Kreme donuts are the greatest. You're right, Jinx. Krispy Kreme, Krispy 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 Kreme, Kreme donuts are delicious. Fred off, fresh off the maker, <laughs> the fryer, <laughs> whatever the fuck it is that they call it. Yeah, they're, they're very, very tasty. Um, but the second best donut, right? And it, it was not. It was gross. It was disgusting, guys. Yeah, it wasn't even close. All right, so now we need to go ahead and adjust this here because now we're going to be picking the dirt up. What and, dirt uh, are we picking up? You can see that little tiny pile right there? Oh, okay, I see the You pile. can see it better in this mode. You oh, see how okay, it's red? yeah. They're telling us that's the pile we need to get. Oops. All right, so hopefully we were able to get some dirt. We might need to bring this down just a bit more. All right, so let's go pick all that dirt up. Scoop, 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 scoop. Mm -hmm. Scoop, 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 motherfucker. <laughs> and then, uh, oh, if we haven't no mentioned it yet, our content is not appropriate for children, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we do make adult content on this channel. I don't care what the game is, either. Uh, we... Uh, even if we're playing a game that might be necessarily appropriate for children, well, our videos are not. My kid wants to be a construction not. worker when he grows up. And there's going to be good, clean, values <laughs> and language. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're pretty much good. All right, so let's go ahead and dump the dirt. Oh, yeah. that's fun. Mm-hmm. Very satisfying. That is satisfying. Job well done. Let's go home. Have a beer. Yeah, we gotta go pick up all the dirt piles, Jinx. Alright. So again, you'll, you'll see me slowly kind of getting the hang of things, guys. If we're both working construction, then who's gonna get the beer when we go home? When we get home? <laughs> How about you get a beer for me and I'll get a beer for you, Jinx? That sounds fair. Sounds good to me. We can rub each other's stinky feet. Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We should probably wash them first, just saying. Oh. The hmm. nighttime is brighter than the day. Alright, so let's just put this down a bit and then get that dirt picked up. I think it's the lights that just turned on, Jinx. They're very bright. They are bright. You can't do proper construction if your lights are... You really can't. Safety comes first. I feel like we didn't pick up very much, guys, so we're going to try and do another pass here. Oops. thought I was on the camera view. All right, and then maybe do a little hold up. I feel like I'm gonna become some kind of building snob yeah. while playing this game. <laughs> like I only want to do the scooping. All right. The scooping and the dumping. That's all you want to do? Yeah. He's like, I ain't doing any of the other work. And the, and, and the ball wrecking. I'll do that. I don't know if you know. We can take a look before we end this uh, episode. I'm gonna crash in my own fucking truck. Ooh, super close there. That's how you do it, guys. Uh, but we can take before we uh, take a look before we end the episode at uh, all the different vehicles that are in the game. All right, so I think we just need to get that last pile, if they consider these piles that I picked up good enough. Like, surely they're good enough. All right, so now we want to get this pile here. All right. 
bring her down. Like now I don't see any piles. You don't see that little pile? Oh, uh, the little ridge there? Yeah, that's what we're trying to pick up, Jinx. The little ridge. Come on. I feel like we didn't pick anything up. <laughs> yeah, we didn't get anything. We just made a big mess. <laughs> that's how we roll. Jeez, man, that did not work out. So up to this point, things were going nice and smooth. But then I mucked it all up, apparently. All right, let's try it again. Come on. I'm going to try and pick up that whole pile of dirt I just fucked up. All right, there we go. Honestly, I feel like if we don't have a lot of cursing in this video, then yeah. it won't feel very authentic. We're not doing it right. Yeah, I've been God over. dang it. <laughs> Stupid dirt. Go where I tell you. You gotta call somebody a rookie. Or noob. Haze them. Noob what, is not What do something. they call people these days? Because you would think the gaming culture... I don't think you'd call them a noob. That. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's what we were... When, uh, that's what they call us in corrections. Did we finish? I don't know if we finished. No. Because uh, as I, I said... Bigfoot. The last <laughs> time I did it... Was he off in the woods? He was. I did a lot smoother than this. Uh, it just went a lot better. That's the way it always goes for us, though. If you're not recording, then you can guarantee that it's going to go mm -hmm. go pretty well. Or if you have a jinx all up in your ear. All right. Talking gibberish. Well, it is easier to blame jinx for everything. <laughs> there we go. Task is complete. Oh, uh, so clear. We're going to make sure that this dirt gets up in there. And then we just need to clear the uh, work spot. And then we'll have Clean to bring. Up. Then we'll have to bring the dirt in. Do some sweeping. Whoa! I figures the last one is the one that I'm gonna run into our truck. At least it doesn't seem like there was any damage. All right. So now we need to clear the work area. Come on. All right. So clear this spot here, and then switch over to this vehicle. Where and are we gonna take the dirt? To the dirt store. Ooh, this will fetch a pretty penny. All right, so I think that should be good. Now we've cleared the area. There we go. All right, so the ground looks good. We'll sell the soil at the gravel pit and buy gravel for the warehouse. Drive the dump truck to the warehouse. All right, so we could skip the trip here in order to try and fit this last part into the video, guys. Uh, let me see here. If we could skip over, because it, it technically is, this is the end of the time. We did have a couple cuts in there, and then also we had that crash too. Uh, so yeah, you can see we skipped the drive. That'd be 579 credits. So we'll just drive it. Uh, but let's go and set the the clear point or the, the clear point, the waypoint. Excuse me. I'm over here reading the clear waypoint, <laughs> and we'll make the drive. Well, there's a lot of drive in the game. I imagine if you're like swimming in the funds, then you can probably skip a lot of them, but. I think it'd be kind of costly to do. And I did say I was going to go first person on one of these these drives, so we will. And just oh hope it doesn't gosh. crash. You know we're going to. We can't be looking both ways. No, I'm saying hoping the game doesn't crash. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're driving at night. Uh, so you'd think traffic would be less. Apparently not. Oh, no. Ah. We just barely missed. Oh, oh now you're in the wrong. Mm, well. Jerk. Yeah, I kind of feel like if we're already in the middle of the road, yeah, I suppose he doesn't have the... Really? Wow. These, these people don't give a shit. No, they just do what they want. Mm -hmm. That's the AI. They don't have to follow the same rules as us. Which is not that really That was a fair. yellow. They better not hit me. They did. Oh, no. Wow. That was bullshit. That was yellow when I crossed. <laughs> uh-uh. No. That would not hold up in the court of law. <laughs> just saying. Probably would, though. They would be like, would. you were sitting at the line when it turned yellow. You were even stopped, and then you decided to go, Mr. Braidorian. I read about some cities, like, setting up their lights to trap people into getting tickets for mm -hmm. it. Like, the yellow just does not stay yellow very long at all. Yeah, maybe. I, I don't know. It seems like, I mean, they're always trying to make more money from... I think it's in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like something Florida would do. And then some guy was, like, going around spray painting all the cameras. I've heard that they that there has been several local governments that have gotten a little bit of trouble for doing certain things. Though the one I heard about was in California. They were doing all kinds of things to, to try and trap people. And uh, But again, you know, if it's yellow, 
and you go anyways, you know? I mean, yeah. if you don't, if it's not green when you cross that line, I feel like you're, that's the only way to be safe is don't cross the line unless it's green. So we do have the yield here. I'm not yielding shit because they don't yield nothing to me. I thought he was going to crash into you. I think we only get tickets for uh, running red lights and speeding. So I believe if we don't do those two things, then we should be all right. And obviously don't hit other people. That'd probably be yeah, good as well. That. I don't I'm know what the uh, that rude. speed limit is here. I'm just assuming it's 50. What is that? Can't even see it. How do they see it? I don't know. And we drove right by and didn't see shit. Is this the dirt It's place? just not as clear. The gravel pit. This is the gravel pit, Jinx. Ooh, I'm gonna have fun here. Mm -hmm. It's like that mousetrap game you used to play as a kid, you remember? Now, I remember the game, but I don't know how this is like the game. There's mice here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so uh, we're gonna go back in the, the tracking camera. Because, uh, again, I don't, I don't know how, how well this game would play in first person. Uh, I mean, it's one thing we could probably just back up into this, but yeah, I feel like it's it's something you want to play in in third person. Oops, my bad, guys. Over here, talking and shit. Can't fucking drive, apparently. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and try and put this right in the perfect spout, and then dump it. And then dump it. All right, so let's dump it. And you see that little egg thingy there? Mm-hmm. I do. It's an Easter nice. egg. Huh. How do you get to that? You gotta run it over. How, though? Because it's, like, exactly. behind that. Is that the trick? Oh, well, maybe you can grab it with the crane thingy. Maybe. That'd be something interesting to know, to see if you can... I don't know that I'm willing to, to go through the hassle, though, yeah, honestly, guys. Yeah, try for it right now. Yeah, not right now, but yeah, it's something we'll have to try. Okay, need to know Oops, what it we gotta does. go right there, don't we? Yeah, we'll to back up into it. I'm trying to figure out why I couldn't get the camera to go. Because we're still on that view there. So, we can get gravel, sand, or soil here. Nice. Just a little bit more. There we go. Alright. Oh, we weren't all the way on it. That's why. Well, why did it let me go? That's weird. Anyway, that makes sense. Oh, no. You are making a mess. We are making a mess. Are you supposed to? I'm sure it's fine, Jinx. Are we going to clean that up? No, Jinx is really worried about this. Do we have this. any interns? I don't want to pay people. All right, so let's see if they'll let us just fast travel home. Uh, so we can skip the drive there. Oh, so you can skip the drive to the home base, just not to the construction site. Oh. Uh. Okay, so whenever we come back home, we can skip that drive. Although, we do miss out on the fun of driving with a, a bed full of gravel. Alright, so now I, th I think we just need to dump it in here. And I don't really think it matters how you do it. Just dump it? Yeah, I think if we just dump it, it'll be fine. What could go wrong? Alright. That should be our next objective here, to unload the gravel into the marked area. So, we'll. Alright, so let's go ahead and start dumping it now. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Of course, that's always fun. Does it not have, like, a lid in the back to put down? A lid? No, I guess not. And there we go. That's all it took, Jinx. Alright. Well, okay. So, we're gonna go ahead and put this back down. And then we'll have to use the backhoe. Not to spread it out, luckily. It does <laughs> spread it out for you. Yeah, it did a great job. But we'll have to... Well, it hasn't spread it out yet, Jinx. Well, it looks fine. <laughs> <laughs> it needs to be spread out a lot more than that. That's what it needs to look like, Jinx. Oh, and that poor parking lot is so dirty. And so now we have to compact the gravel. And that's what we'll use the backhoe for. And this will be the last thing we're going to do in this episode, guys. Well, would you look at that? Oh, wait a minute. Enter the vehicle dealership. Oh, okay. That's right. We're not using the back over this. Yeah, we got to rent. I'm a dummy. That's right. We need to thing. rent a compactor. Uh, so this is what he's talking about, how you could enter from here. So that way you don't have to drive all the way over to the vehicle dealership. Mm -hmm. And then just get the uh, compactor, which... Oh, man. 
We need one of these three compactors. Gosh, I know so little about construction. I'm, I'm glad. Learn today. I'm glad I went back. I went all the way over, but I wanted to show you guys the vehicles while we're in here, because I said I would. So we got road pavers. So we're gonna work on some roads. Oh wow. Uh, I got a trailer there. We have the fast erecting crane, so a big ass fucking crane. What? All kinds of stuff here, guys. So yeah, a lot of different vehicle types to use. I mean, it just keeps on going. I mean, we're like, we're not even, we're about three quarters in. <laughs> Look at all these, man. A rotary drill and an SUV at the very end there. Yeah. <laughs> or a leisure car. Way at the back. Uh, so yeah, it's gonna take me forever to get back over. Uh, come on, hurry. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, these are all the vehicles in the game, and it's a pretty wide variety of them. Kind of gives you an idea of uh, what all we'll be doing. And we have access to all these, we just can't afford them? Well, some of those you saw were locked mm -hmm. in the back there, but yeah, all the other ones we have access to. Uh, so we need one of these three compactors, Jinx, and they are all the 300 credits per minute. So... Which one you want? We got the cat, we got the work gen, or the bow mag. Which mm, one you want? This one cat. looks nice. You want the cat because that's the company you know? Yeah. You can get the it's company they you make know. make all those toys. So <laughs> True. So brainwash them young. <laughs> all right. So, oh, we need to go to the compactor. And then we should just be able to fast travel back home now. And we're stuck in a tree. We're so, going on a safari. Oops. So let's go ahead and have this skip the drive. And then we'll get that gravel compacted, guys. Which, this is kind of fun to drive. I like the way it feels. It's really slow, though, <laughs> as you would expect it to be. Mm -hmm. So it's going to take us some time. This is the reason why I absolutely did not want to try and drive this on the roads. I did drive this on the roads the first time, guys. And it took forever. <laughs> it felt like some ice road druggers. Yeah, it was quite the journey, man. Come on. I guess we could use the quick select location, too, because if we don't, they're going to keep bug bugging us about it. All right, so now we need to roll over this. Can it do some smushing? Yeah, I'm going to try and do this a little bit again. A little bit. This is as far as I got last time as well. Because I figured this would be about one video's worth, which I was right. Uh, so, we're going to try and run over that. Now, we do have to, I think, turn it on. Mm -hmm. Maybe you don't. Return. Yeah, maybe you don't turn anything on. I thought you did. Apparently not, though. So, we should be able to start just running over it then, right? I would think so. Let's see. Looks heavy. No. What? Mm -hmm. That's not working. So there's something I need nah, to do here. Bullshit. Now we can turn it on. We had to wait till we were actually uh, on the gravel. Okay. That makes sense. There we go. I was wondering what the hell was going on there. All right, so now we need to come pack the area. So let's go and get started. Do some smishing. And again, Ooh. you have to do every little bit of the area, guys. I left a little bit on the side. Because, I, again, I didn't do it as well as I could have last time. Mm -hmm. And I regretted that. Well, you're doing a fantastic job this time. Look how going. smush that gravel is. It's going is. okay. Oh. oh, that's so smooth. Mm -hmm. You like that, don't you, Jinx? I do. Ooh, take that corner. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so just kind of run around in a, a square here. That's how I mow lawns. I do it in a spiral, mm -hmm. which I know would drive some people crazy. I go in lines, you but... you got to get the stripes. Yeah, I like the stripes. I'll look to it, so well, I go in lines. But. I would like to, too, but we barely, like, have any viable grass in our yard. <laughs> our grass is, it's it's quite the adventure trying to mow that thing. i just say that we're feeding the bees, because we have a lot of, like, dandelions and weeds and stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm like, it's for the environment, you monster. Don't judge me. I feel like I need to start taking these corners, like, well before I get to them, and that would probably make this go a little bit smoother, guys. I'll try and, like, do it with this this one here. Like hit the corner as we approach it, like so. That didn't really work. <laughs> On the second corner, though. I feel okay. like it almost worked. Yeah, like it was a good plan, just poorly executed. All right, we're almost done, guys. Almost. All right, so let's go and compact all this. And I'm being a little bit over cautious with it again because I just left a little tiny strip last time, and they they didn't count it as being done. 
Though some of the other things that were a little bit stricter when I did the, the tutorial the first time seemed to not be as strict this time. So let's, this time is now. I don't know why I'm doing it like this, guys. It's time to go back to strips. <laughs> I'm just being a moron. All right, so let's go and do this last strip here. And then we'll have to go back down one more time. Yeah. So that would make that not the last strip. Because I know the meaning of words. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, words are hard. We're, ma we're making a mess of the gravel. Luckily, that doesn't I don't matter. Think so. that was pretty, well, I think mean, It is way, it's way outside the line that they made for us. Come on, don't make me go down this. <laughs> I'm really hoping I don't have to go down it for that little strip that's right there. It's a tiny, tiny strip. Hopefully, it'll count it. Oh, man. I think we did it. All right, excellent. Congratulations. All right, so let's go ahead and turn this baby off. Clear the area. And this quest will be completed, guys. Come on. Here we go. Made a little bit of mess of a parking lot. Well, that's fine. We'll get the new guys to get out there and clean it up. Okay, I think that looks good. We no longer need the compactor here. You can turn the machine now and terminate the rental. Press square to open the vehicle's compact menu, or context menu and select the highlight icon. So this is where we're going to leave it here, guys. I'm going to pause it right here. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy this first episode. Um, sorry I, I suck. Uh, but <laughs> it's a it's a tricky game, and and uh, I have found the the dual stick controls to be a little bit uh, difficult. I've had some it's, it's been a little bit tricky. It's taking some time to get used to. Uh, but it's an interesting game. I want to see where it goes. Like, are all the missions going to be like the tutorial are, where it's like a step by step process, mm -hmm. or like where they tell you, hey, now you need to do this, and now you need to do this, and now you need, to... and then at that point, it's really just a series of mini games, basically. Yeah. You know, drive around until this is all flattened. You know, pick up this object and put it over here. Or is there going to be freedom to it? Like you get on a job and you got to figure out what to do. Like in, uh, I, I don't know, how much, how open is it going to be? Uh, yeah. I, I'm curious. So that's one thing I'll be interested to find out uh, as we continue to play. Though the tutorial does seem to be really, really long. As you guys see, I as think I we're still it in the tutorial. Be. Good grief. It, yeah, I'm glad that they're walking us through this. Uh, this is actually a plus for the game. So many games don't have a very good tutorial. Uh, like this in these simulator games mm -hmm. and just leave you like lost and no idea how to how to play uh, so i'm glad they have a long tutorial uh, but because it's so long we really can't comment here in the first episode uh like how the actual game plays uh so let's go ahead and end this first episode here it's pretty long uh, i do hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you leave a like on the video subscribe to our channel hit that notification bell and leave a comment I do read and reply to all comments love talking to you guys uh, if you're looking for anything to watch while you wait for episode two, then go check out the front page of our channel. We got 2,000. Actually, we have 3,000 something videos. Oh, I forgot. We just hit 3,000 a couple weeks ago. Whoa. So yeah, we got 3,000 something videos on the channel, all sorted by genre. So you should be able to find something you'd enjoy watching. If you're looking for things that are kind of similar to this, uh, I might suggest the truck driver game, which we had already brought up. Uh, Car mechanic simulator would be another one. And then a more recent one that we just played here on the PS4 was the uh, house flipper. Uh, we just played that as well, and that's also kind of similar in a way. Uh, so maybe go check out one of those, and those again are, are all on the front page of the channel. If you're looking for any links, check out in the description of any of our videos. Find links to our PayPal and Patreon if you'd like to support the channel. Uh, links to our Discord if you'd like to join our community, as well as links to all of our social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff if you'd like to follow us on there. Uh, so I do hope to see you on the next episode. As far as how long the series is going to be, it's hard to say, guys. We kind of base it off of views more than anything. I'd like to have at least five videos for it to really show the game and, um, you know, kind of hopefully get out of the tutorial by that point and uh, just kind of explore the game a bit. I, I typically try to have three to five at least in any of our series. Uh, so we're going to try and hit five videos, and then after that we'll base it off of uh, the views, like uh, how, how well the series is doing, how much you guys are enjoying it. Uh, you know, interactivity, all that kind of stuff. Uh, we always kind of watch for. Uh, but I do want to put that out in the first episode, since you know sometimes when these series don't do don't do well, uh, you know, we end it after five videos. Some people, you know, aren't happy about that after they spent five videos on it, and then we end it. Uh, so again, it's going to be based off of views more than anything else, since there are several games coming out over the next couple of weeks that we're considering covering. Uh, so I do hope to see you on the next episode, and thanks for watching, guys.